Hello geometry students and welcome to another day of remote learning. I hope you're doing well. We're going to continue exploring different ways we can find the sides of right triangles. I've been a little bit worried that these videos have gotten a little bit boring, so I'm thinking of ways to make them more interesting, which... You gotta try, try, try to find the sides of right. Try, 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 try triangles. You gotta try, try, try to find the sides of right. Try, 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 try triangles. You could use the Pythagorean theorem. If you've got two sides, one the third, just plug them in. Combine some thumb square root and then. You gotta try, try, try to find the sides of right. Try, 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 triangle. I know some angles that seem to come up often. 30, 60, 90, and 45, 45. If you recognize the patterns, there's no need to derive. You gotta try, try, try to find the sides of right. Try, 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 try and go for any angle. Side ratios are constant. Sine, cosine, tangent, don't be a hater. You can look them up in a book, just use your calculator. Listen to the mingle, mingle of guitar and triangle. Listen to the single, single of guitar and triangle. Uh, so anyway, uh, do those exercises today and email me if you have any questions.